Hey guys, it's Jack Jack and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm sharing with you eight easy hairstyles that you can do with short hair. And I apologize for my voice right now. I am really sick and I wish I didn't have to record this voiceover right now, but I wanted to get this video up for you guys. So whether your hair is short like mine, maybe a little shorter or even longer, you can definitely try out these hairstyles and ignore my curls. These were just curls from earlier in the week. You can have curls if you want, but it's not necessary. First, before we get started, make sure you subscribe and hit the little bell so that way you are part of the Little Flower family. And without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump into the tutorials, starting with this braided headband. I wore this look um, a few weeks ago and I really liked how it turned out, so um, I wanted to share it with you guys. So this is different because first we're going to start with the side part and then we want to keep like the front part of our hair kind of like the bangs or the fringe. You want to keep that out. So I'm going to separate that and just clip it away um, so it doesn't get mixed into our braid. And then we're going to create a big, nice, fat Dutch braid right behind our bangs. So to do a Dutch braid, I do have a detailed tutorial. Oh my gosh, I just feel so bad that you guys are listening to my voice right now. It's just so froggy. But um, I do have a detailed tutorial on how to create a Dutch braid or an inside out French braid. It's pretty easy once you get the hang of it. And I know um, my demonstration is not doing a, a stellar job at really showing you exactly what my hands are doing. Um, but I try to keep the clip slow so you can try to follow along. But if you need something more detailed, I will leave the link in the cards to my Dutch braid tutorial. So hopefully that will help you guys out. So once we tie it at the bottom of the braid, I'm just gonna section some hair back and bobby pin it behind my head like so. And then when you put the hair over, it covers the bobby pin. Um, and now I'm just pulling apart the braid very gently so that it's nice and fat um, and it looks like it has a lot of volume. And that is it for this first hairstyle. Your hair can be straight when doing this, but I think the added curls or texture to your hair gives a really nice touch. So now moving on to the twisted headband. This is great because maybe you like the first hairstyle, but you're like, hmm, I don't know how to French braid. So here is an alternative for you guys if you don't know how to braid. So what you want to do is take a small section of your hair, split it into two. This is like faux braiding right here. And you want to take the front section and twist it back. And then, oh my gosh, <clears throat> I just choked on the air. Now we're going to pick up sections of hair on each side and then do the same thing. The front section is going to be twisted back like so. And then you just want to keep repeating that same process, picking up more hair to each section and then taking that front section and twisting it back. Always make the front section go back. So just keep doing that along your head. You can bobby pin it into place when you're done and you can leave it like that or do it on the next side, which I, I personally like doing. I think it gives like a nice rounded out look. Um, so I'm going to do the little faux braiding twist on the other side of my head, bobby pin it into place when I'm done and then you can gently tug on the little twist to make it a little more full and voluminous, like big and fat, sort of like how we did the first braid, how I love when my braids are like big and fat. So I also love when my twists are big and fat. So I do the same thing. And that is it for the second hairstyle. I love how this turned out and it's so, so easy to do. Again, I think it looks great with the texture of like curls and stuff, but you can definitely do this hairstyle with straight hair. The half up pony is by far my favorite, favorite, favorite hairstyle. I wear this all the time and it's perfect for short hair because sometimes doing a single ponytail is just not, it's not going to work with short hair and like you can't gather all of your hair back and it just looks kind of funny with short hair. So doing this half up pony by just taking the top section of your hair and tying it up, it gives you that same like ponytail effect but it's not like all of your hair so it's definitely a better alternative when you have shorter hair so once I tie it I just tug on the front to kind of loosen it so it's not so tight against my head and I think with the texture of my hair like with curls this hairstyle is bomb but um, with straight hair again looks awesome as well but I, I prefer it with the curls and the texture I think it's so awesome Okay, here is a faux big bun because I know when you have short hair, doing a big bun is just, it doesn't work out. Um, so 
if like you gather all of your hair to the top of your head and then you try to twist it into a bun, it just, it's not gonna work. <coughs> sorry, I'm dying. Hold on, I need to take a pause. Okay, sorry, I'm back. So you want to gather all of your hair and tie it into a ponytail. And I know this might be a little tricky with short hair. Just do the best that you can. And then any pieces that are like falling out in the back, just go ahead and bobby pin those into place. But once you have a ponytail at the top of your head, it's gonna look a little crazy like this. But here is how you create the faux bun. Because see how th this is like, it doesn't even wrap around. It's too short to wrap around. So you want to find like the middle part like this, like in the middle of your hair, and then in small sections at a time, you wanna twist them towards the hair elastic and bobby pin it into place. And once you bobby pin it, gently spread out the hair so it makes it a little more full. And you just wanna repeat that all around your head and it's gonna give the illusion that you have a lot more hair to actually wrap around and make this big, beautiful bun on your head. So this next one is for those who are still able to create a regular ponytail. This is the big braid pony. And I think it's so much cuter than just a regular ponytail, which can be a little boring. This has like a very girly, feminine, stylish touch to it. So you wanna create a deep side part. And then similar to the first section, we're going to create a Dutch braid. But um, did I say first section? I meant similar to the first hairstyle, we're gonna create a big um, Dutch braid. And with that first hairstyle, we kept the bangs out, but with this hairstyle, we want to braid everything. Um, so no need to worry about keeping your bangs out or anything like that. So you wanna do the same Dutch braid method until you get to about behind your ear. Go ahead and tie it into an elastic. And before we tie it all back into a ponytail, I'm gonna go ahead and um, gently tug and pull apart the braid to make it nice and big and fat like I like it. That's what she said. That's my joke, damn it, Dwight. And then I am going to go ahead and secure the back into a ponytail. And I do have a few pieces of hair framing my face, and that is it for this hairstyle. Moving on, we have the Dutch braid crown. I know I'm doing a lot of Dutch braids, so that's why I really recommend watching my detailed tutorial if you want to know how to do a Dutch braid. It's one of my favorite braids, and for my hands, it's the easiest one to do. When I, ha when I do like a regular French braid, my mind has to actually like work <laughs> to create a French braid. But a Dutch braid, I could do in my sleep. It's like just, it's so easy for my hands. So I highly recommend you check out that video if you haven't seen it yet. But I'm gonna create a deep side part for this and then go ahead and create a Dutch braid. And um, basically you just create three sections and you want to make the middle section go over the side sections. So, um, with every time I grab new hair, I'm taking the outside section and bringing it underneath the middle section. So you wanna create that Dutch braid until you get to behind your ear and then take a pause and then readjust your hands so that you can finish the braid going behind your head. I don't know why this was such a, like, a game changer when I realized that you can take a pause and readjust your hands to finish off a braid behind your head. I always tried to just keep reaching and reaching and it was so difficult. But no, just take a pause once you are like about this point and then just pull your hands and then readjust. So now your hands are behind your head instead of in front of your head. So again, just continue the same process and you wanna do what basically whatever braid is easier for you. Like I mentioned, doing a Dutch braid is like I could do in my sleep. It's so easy, so I don't need to look in a mirror. I don't need to see, like my hands just know what they're doing. So whether that's a French braid or a Dutch braid for you, do whatever is easier, because once you get to behind your head, it'll be like, like super easy to continue on. Otherwise, it might be a little tricky, but hey, practice makes progress. Just keep practicing and you'll get the hang of it. So again, you wanna just keep braiding until you can't reach anymore and then take a pause and readjust your hands so that they're back in front of you like so. Now my hair is just like a little too short for this hairstyle because once I finish the braid and pull the hair up to reach the other end, it actually doesn't reach. So I'm kind of in that awkward length right now. Um, but hey, 
I'm still gonna I'm still gonna rock it. It's okay. If it's okay with you, it's okay with me. So um, before I actually bobby pin it into place, like all the other braids, I'm going to um, gently tug at it to make the braid a lot fatter. So once I'm happy with how that looks, I'll go ahead and bobby pin the tail of my braid up as close as I can to the top of my head so that it kind of almost connects, but because my hair is so short, it doesn't. I'm just gonna go ahead and bobby pin that into place. And then once that is done, I'm going to pull apart some hair. I'm just taking the end of my teasing comb um, to pull out some hairs to frame my face. It gives it a softer, more whimsical look. And that is it for this hairstyle. I think it's super cute, super pretty, and really feminine. And it's perfect for those days when you just don't know what to do with your hair and your hair is kind of dirty. Just braid it up like this. This next hairstyle is a little fun and different and it's perfect if you love messy hairstyles because these are the mini messy buns. So I'm starting by taking a section at the top of my head and I'm just going to wrap it around into a little mini bun and then bobby pin it into place. This is an ideal hairstyle for short hair or hair that has a lot of layers because sometimes if you gather all of your hair and then try to create one bun, your hair like might fall out because, um, not fall out, like fall out of your head. <laughs> your hair might fall out of the bun because of like all the layers you have or it's just too short to stay in a bun shape. So doing mini buns like this is super awesome because you can work with the hair a lot better and secure it down in those layers. So I'm creating kind of a diamond shape. So I did one bun at the top like this and then now I'm doing two buns on the side and then we're good. Oh, the dogs are barking now. And lastly, with the remaining hair at the bottom, we're going to um, wrap that up into a little mini bun and again, secure it with bobby pins and then you have this really cute mini messy bun diamond shape hairstyle. And then lastly, we have the pull back braids, which is super easy if you don't like doing buns, super easy if you don't know how to do a French braid or Dutch braid and just can't seem to get the hang of it. You wanna take a section of hair from the front of your face and just create a regular three strand braid. So you don't have to worry about picking up sections of hair or anything like that. Just take this section, divide it into three, and then just kind of weave it back and forth um, and do a simple three straight brand. And then I'm going to pull it behind my head and tuck it under some hair. So we hide the bobby pin and then there you go, bobby pin it in place. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on the next side, split my hair into three and then just basically go back and forth weaving the hair together like this to create that three strand braid. And once we get to the end, I'm going to pull it back to reach the other braid. And depending on your hair length, sometimes you can kind of just slip the end under the other braid like I did here and then just bobby pin it into place. That way it's a seamless braid all around your head like this. So that's it for this hairstyle and that completes this video of all eight hairstyles. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments which one was your favorite. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!